Hi, I'm Scott Lamar for The Spark. We're at Dolphin County Technical School in the medical assistance program. I want to say office like it's a doctor's office, but he reminds you of that. What we're going to be learning today is what students who aspire to be a medical assistant or a nurse or maybe even a doctor, the kind of things that they would learn. We'll learn some of the basics today on The Spark. As part of the medical assistant program, what do you do? You know, we do all sorts of things as medical assistants. When you come into the doctor's office, you have to get your vital signs taken. You're going to get your basic measurements. Um, we'll take information. We'll get your history. We get you ready for the doctors. All right, so this is Charlie. Um, Charlie is a simulated mannequin, so Charlie has vital signs, and today we're going to be taking Charlie's blood pressure. This is the sphygmomanometer. All right, so we're gonna inflate the cuff now. So what's Charlie's blood pressure? Charlie's blood pressure is 120 over 90. Is it good? The average is 120 over 80, but Charlie will be doing okay. Charlie's gonna make it. So what attracted you to this program? When I was going through the rotation, I had an open mind about what program I wanted to do because I wasn't 100% sure. And I did not expect to like the program because, you know, I had this phobia of the doctor's office a little bit, didn't want to go there, nowhere near. But, you know, Ms. Scheidler, the instructor, was talking about what we do in healthcare. And it just interested me because I want to help people and I think that it would, I thought, this sounds like a rewarding career, flexible, you know, it was checking all the boxes. So I decided I have to get over my fear. I'm going to do this. Why did you have a phobia and how did that, that present itself? It was, it was mostly needles. You know, I remember being younger, running away from the medical assistant as she tried to give me an injection. And, you know, it, it was just, I was scared. But now I've gotten over it. You've gotten over that phobia of yes. needles. Do, do you understand when people maybe do have a phobia or are afraid of needles now? Yes, I think it will be helpful when I'm trying to calm them down. All right, sometimes in the office, we need to be sterile, which means there's going to be no germs or pathogens on our hands. So when that happens, we want to put on sterile gloves. And there's your gloves. Pull this up. And without touching the outside, pull down. Now this hand is sterile. Slip the hand in. All right, so then you're gonna clasp your fingers together because you're sterile. You do not want to touch anything. Why is that so important? You do not want to get pathogens or any substance on your patient. You don't want to risk it. So what do you want to do with your career? Have you figured that out yet? Yeah, I have a good idea. Well, a semi-good idea. I know that I want to be a nurse, and I know that I want to go to hack for it. Um, I'm getting my gen ed classes out of the way now, so when I graduate here, I'll be able to work as a medical assistant and simultaneously um, be getting my nurse degree. What level of nursing are you interested in? So I'm going to start probably bedside, just, you know, basic nursing, and work up from there. I'm interested in maybe something management you know, I'm just going to see where it takes me. Well, like when I came to this school, I had an open mind about where I wanted to go. I want to do that again as I go into nursing. This is Charlie's EKG, and this is very helpful for us in learning to recognize different patterns in the EKG. We want to know what's a problem so we can report it to the doctor right away. So Charlie looks pretty good here. Let's face it, today there is a shortage of nurses. Uh, there has been for some time, but the COVID-19 pandemic made the situation even worse. Did that influence your thinking at all that uh, there's a future here that I, I'm looking at, number one, making a good living, number two, that there is a need for the skills that I'm learning? Yeah, it was 2020 when I decided, you know, I'm gonna be in the healthcare field. So we were right in the middle of it, and I was seeing how, you know, nurses, they had a lot to do. They were very stressed, and everyone in healthcare. 
but there was also a lot of community support for them. Um, so thinking about that, I, it just helped me realize how important it is as a job, how we need it as a society, and it helped me focus on that's what I want to do. All right, Charlie, your heart rate is 80. Hey, I want to thank Morgan Dame here at the Dauphin County Technical School's Medical Assistance Program for showing us around today. And it looks like it has a bright future in the medical field. But uh, I want to thank you very much for being on the Spark today. All right, thank you for coming into our office. You look healthy and good to go. For more from Mosaic, please like and subscribe to the channel or check out another video. To help support this project, please visit witf.org mosaic.